All right, folks, we're back with another episode of Skull Girls Encore. All right, so let's break down what we've done so far. We've already beaten the game with Squiggly, the new DLC character, and Miss Fortune. Next up on the list, yup, let's rock. This is interesting. The Duke, Hive, meet Peacock, Lab 8's magnum opus. So this is Project Peacock. I've read the papers, but I'm embarrassed to say that I can barely follow them. I'll explain. Project Peacock is equipped with not one, but two synthetic parasites. Lab Zero has created one other like her, but more. Extreme methods were required to complete the synchronization. Two synthetic parasites? Regulating the soul contamination must be difficult. Indeed, but with the proper Theonite balance, I think we could graft even more onto future subjects. The Argus system not only lets her see everything, but the eyes also generate powerful sea rays at the precise wavelength needed to disrupt a Skullgirl's essence. Hey Gramps, shut it, I'm busy here! A weird character, I tell you. Very weird. The Avery unit is... admittedly a bit less well understood. We designed it to be a special link between her body and Lab 8's vast underground arsenal, but... she's doing things with it I never imagined possible. Seriously, Doc. Shut it! It's getting to the good part! To think that poor mutilated orphan I found may be the one to defeat the Skullgirl once and for all. Ugh, that's scary. Hey, hey, listen. Wah! Wake up, Peacock. The Theonite resonance detector is picking up a huge reaction downtown. It's her, boss. The Skull Girl is on the move. Hot damn! Put some coffee on and give me fifteen. Dang, she's got an arsenal, all right. Ready, everyone? It's time to paint the town red. And paint the town red with blood. And I do mean a lot of it. Psst, Avery. So did the boss take a bath or what? What if she brush her teeth with anyway? That old polish? I think a bath and her usual morning routine were in pride, but they aren't something the audience needs to see. Hot Tootie fighting? Okay, looks like they're breaking the fourth wall here. This is humorous. And looks like we're up against our first opponent, Philia. And yes, I will go to her much later. You don't. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. And it's showtime. Let's begin. Julia is what I consider to be a character that relies too much on projectiles, not to mention her teleportation is just fast. Basically, you can keep her at bay with her various different moves. Ugh, boy. Oh yeah, I forgot, this one doubles as her air boost. Oh, come on! Come on, let's go. All right, that's it. Okay. Oh man, I missed. I lost a hit too. That sucks. Just a simple tap and you're done. And you have to say, Peacock is kind of weird. With all these assimilations and everything. It's just... Really weird. Now it's Miss Fortune's turn. Curiosity can't kill me. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. Yup, it's showtime, folks. Come on. Is that it? Come on, you're not even. 
Ooh, that's beautiful. And you're done. I really mean it. You are so done, Miss Fortune. And it looks like we got another one. Looks like we may get somewhere after this. Now it's Parasol's turn. Target confirmed. Who will our star be tonight? Action! Yes, let's rock! Come on, let's go. Oh, you're missing that. Come on, that's it. Let's have to avoid this one because that's too slow. Target agony, and you're done. Bye bye. Smooth and fast, not to mention another perfect. Man, who are all these poses getting between me and the Skull Girl? Don't they know who I am? I was built to beat Skull Girls. The sooner I get done with that Skull Girl, the sooner we can get back to watch Glorious Annie, Symphony of Star Stuff. Yeah, I gotta get back to watch wrestling. I heard Beowulf's coming out of retirement. What? Hold it, everyone. We got a message coming in from Dr. Avian. Come in, Peacock. Skirrows. Betrays us. Labs. Under attack. The doc's in trouble. And we gotta move fast, too. We're too late. Whoever it was, they really did a number on the lab. Patricia. Do you hear that? I think I heard Dr. Avian. Dr. Avian, who did this to you? Lab Zero. Valentine betrayed us. She let the Skull Girl in. Which way did they go? They fled to New Meridian. Follow. But make sure the others are safe. I know you can protect everyone. I know you can defeat the Skull Girl. Ugh. He's gone, boss. Guys, get ready. Pissing me off is the last mistake those idiots will ever make. Ah, I see her, boss. The Skull Girl is right over there. Wait, can't be. Marie? She's the Skull Girl? I'm sorry, my child, but your reunion with Marie will have to wait. She has important business to attend to in the Grand Cathedral. Another peacock? Looks more like a dodo to me. Extinct. Enough. Avian's legacy ends now. We'll see about that, you faker. Yep, let's rock! Come on, get back here! Ooh, I like the distance of this Fire laser! And I really like the improvements they put on this game. Ooh, you're done! She's the real deal, not that fraud. Hello, nurse. Nice place you got here, by the way. So Lab 8's ultimate weapon finally arrives. I never expected you to be double, but don't worry. I'll be fitting you with a toe tag shortly. So why'd you do it? Both of our labs are supposed to be working together to destroy the Skull Girl, and you let her right to us. I won't explain my reasons to a child. We came to stop Dr. Avian's work, and that is done. You really think I'm gonna let you walk out of here alive, nurse? I don't think you have a choice. I admit, you are almost an interesting opponent, but you're nothing more than garbage infected by Avian's philosophy of weakness. Double, it's time Lab 8's final experiment came to an end. Ah! We'll show you weakness, lady! We're gonna moiterize ya! 
Time to die, traitor! Yeah, what they said! We're sending you straight to hell for what you did at the dock! Yup, another two-on-one handicap match. Ain't it quaint, cause Peacock is project already. Ready to deliver hell. Yeah, an Animaniacs reference. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! It is showtime! I really enjoy this fighting game. And who knows, maybe I might do some online matches. Right if my lag is not, not that bad. But they're mostly like based like live matches. And I don't know if they do replays. I got big plans for my channel this year. Especially with stuff like fighting games. Oh boy. Come on, what the hell? Alright, time to teleport. Is that all you got? Ugh, you hurt. I'm not here for an appointment, nurse. I'm here to- WAIT! God damn it! Here, eat laser! And another round of lasers! Lasers are always beneficial. Oh great, she pulls a counter hyper! And you're done. Bye bye That's truly something, alright. Now all that remains is the Skull Girl herself. If you've seen my previous battles, then it's easy to see why. The reason why I took long with Squiggly is because I know very little about her, and at least I'm doing a bit better. Hopefully I can rectify that. Marie! Patricia, you should not have come. Do not worry about me. My quest is nearly at an end. Oh, police! Don't worry about you! Some hellish MacGuffin has turned you into an undead killing machine and I was created to stop you. More like evil Zeo Crystal or something. And there's no way you can beat me, so of course I'm worried about you. Look, Patricia, you will understand. Whoa! Is that... him? So all of these people are... evil. From the slave traders of Rumograd to their patrons, the Medicis, all must perish. That's scary. Patricia, please leave. I cannot guarantee your safety much longer. You know I can't do that. It must be taking everything you've got to fight that thing inside you. One of these days, you'll slip up and you'll be just as bad as those guys. Or worse. You leave me no choice but to beat you down, blow you up, and rip the skull heart right out of you. Let's hope there's enough of you left that we can sit down with some pie together when this is all over, okay? Wow, I didn't know that Peacock was very selfless. She really does care for Marie. In fact, I know some characters, well, every character has a tragic story. It's just sad. Except for one, which I will explain in a future episode. It's now final boss time, and hopefully we can get this done. This is gonna prove to be a challenge. Yep, it's showtime now! Gotta hurry and dish out as much damage as possible. Oh, this is gonna- I'm gonna have to attack from a distance if I'm gonna dish him. Hey, off me! Ah, ow! Got it? Come on. Yeah, I have to keep my distance against this one. Three is dead with it. And now she brings in her second form. Lasers aplenty! I love lasers. Ah, what the? Where'd that come from? Uh-oh, she's just striking from below. Here, have more lasers. And now she reaches final four number. Wait, no, I'm not number three yet. Now she reaches final four number three. And looks like I'll have to... I can't even hit her. Looks like I'll have to dodge. Ah, nuts! 
You know what? Fine. Laser. That didn't work. I'm gonna be dead. I know it. And nope. I'm <laughs> just barely. Holy crap. This fight is over. Wow. That's just. Wow. That's just really crazy. That is just crazy right here. Told you I'd win. But I appreciate you trying to put up a fight. Now, about the Skull Heart. <sighs> Who needs wishes? I'm already the strongest there is. Unleash Oblivion. Bye bye, foolish child. Do you really think this is over? It's never over. Right, Marie? Right, Patricia. I'm sorry I ran away that day. You stood up for us, and I ran. When I found the Skull Heart, I thought maybe I could make things right and punish the people that did that to you. We're good. You'll always be my friend. Got it? That makes me happy. Tell you what, I'm going to continue your work. Not now that I beat you, save the day, and it's rerun season. I don't have much of a purpose anymore. That and bloodying those mafia fools sounds like a hurt. That would be wonderful. Thank you, Patricia. It was good seeing you one last time. And here comes the big finale. Pika's got a bone to pick with the Mafia. And then there were two. Dahlia, help! She's here! Ooh, who the hell's this she? So the rumors were true. Geiger's resorted to experimenting on children. My, how the mighty have fallen. Cram it, Granny! I don't want to rush you, but let's get this over with already. I've been slaughtering your goons all night. I'm missing my stories and need my beauty sleep. Then let me tuck you in for your final bedtime. What happens here? Who knows? My thoughts on Peacock is pretty simple. She's a projectile-based character with teleportation and hypers that can prove to be deadly. Now, I didn't show off the rest of her other hypers, but I may plan on doing so in an extra video. She's a really good, I mean, a really good character to use, but I feel that she's going to remind me of Deathstroke with her spamming machine gun, rocket, etc. In this case, it's lasers, guns, etc., who knows? I'm done with this episode here. Next time, we're moving on to Pain Wheel. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. It does really mean a lot to me. And I'll see you guys next time for another episode of Skullgirls Encore. Bonsoir!